Yay for everything looking and sounding good. Although the gnomes had some dead eyes they don't really have when you're actually playing the game. Let's continue. Play it for a little bit longer. And never click on the screen again to move, because it's terrifying. Peasant way. Game's not kidding. Guaranteed peasant recruits. They're not. They're not welcome. <laughs> we will not be bringing peasants along with us. We have the Town of Riverton here with a teleport spell. It's pretty neat. You can use that uh, on your units to progress them forward and get them range, ranged faces. Or you can use it on the enemy and get them away from your ranged units. Gathering information here. Castle Azram. I'm going to write that down. Azram is under Princess Imola. Okay. Write that down. Sprites, sprites, skeletons, zombies, and a few ogres. A bit more than we can handle, but soon we will have ourselves a respectable army. Maybe less soon than advertised. Waddle on down this way. We'll encounter an enemy group. A few zombies, many sprites, and a few orcs. Uh, the sprites are going to harass our poor archers. Such is life. Of course, we have to get out there to engage those orcs. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go clean up these peasants. Peasants. <laughs> of the flying peasants. Move like so. That way the orcs will either have to move, or because the AI won't move them, engage my peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently everyone's a peasant, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no! Rest in peace, peasant. We could always uh, go back and recruit a few more peasants, should the situation warrant. But for now, we're going to stick with this army. It's, it's not a strong army, by any means. A little exploratory force. Ooh. There we go. Zombies can't go through the trees. They have to dance around them. Which is to my benefit. Note that you do have limited shots in this game. Depends on the unit. Archer's got 12. Let's see what that group was guarding. Alright, I'll take it. Ridding the countryside of a ferocious beast, the Magistrate presents you with the Ring of Heroism and a piece of the map to the Stolen Scepter. So, uh, memory serves, I'd have to look this up in the instruction manual. Ring of Heroism influences your luck in some form or fashion. It also increases your, increases your score. Losing followers will have a negative impact upon your score. As I noted last video, uh, there will be two artifacts in every continent. I can deal with that. Thinking about uh, heading back to the castle using my newfound leadership. We've got a little bit. Get some more troops. Hmm. I would like to be in position to strike. I'm hoping that the zombies will just keep moving forward to go after the archers. Be good, zombies. There we go. Of course, if I actually do end up going after the, uh, the orcs, I'll suffer an attack from the zombies. 
There's only one orc here, so the pike pen will be fine. Good, 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 good. Zombie shoes to move there? Sure. Why not? And we can take this cautiously. No big deal. Let's go ahead and get out of that corner. Get towards the trees for safety. It's time for some more excitement. A little dance. <laughs> it's the only way to defeat the zombie menace. The cataclysm that has swept over the four continents. Only you six archers and your arrows can save Christmas. Thank you. Well, it's something. Up to 80 leadership? Okay. That's two more archers, two more pikemen. Probably recruit some militia whenever I head back. Yeah, we can do that. I think there's a castle down here to my right. Go grab this more treasure. Weekly income. Well, it's something. Six villains rule Continentia. Yeah. And that will be uh, Azram, where Princess Imola was. Fairly certain on that. I'm going to trust that I'm right. Let's go ahead and rent ourselves a boat. Woo! Sail the seas. Now that's Castle Vutar, which is empty. Oh, I mean, it's not empty. We can uh, come clear it out and garrison it, and we'll get some extra money on commission. Sure. I was expecting treasure to be on that island, so when I saw that monster group, I was like, huh. Yeah, we're going to have ourselves five orcs. That'll be nice. Note, uh, the orcs only have six shots instead of twelve. And know that everyone gets along with everyone else in this group. That'll be nice. A little bit of extra range damage. You'll note the damage of those five orcs do compared to the six archers. I'm still going to go back and recruit some more. <sighs> more peasants. What a waste instead of having treasure there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Week's about over. Every week lasts five days. We'll be getting our commission and be charged for the boat rental again soon. So, let's grab our archers, two. Let's grab our pikemen, two. Let's grab our militia. How many do I actually want to bring? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll load it up. I'll bring a full house. What the hell? <laughs> oh shit sprites they can be pretty nice primarily as folks to staff a castle garrison once you've taken it along with other weak units I also showed off the value of being able to get right in a range unit's face I do like to keep the slot open though but uh, I'm trying to remember what was in that Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll leave it alone. Also, Week of the Elves. All elf dwellings are repopulated. Game's teasing me. Of course, we just paid for these new units that we got, and now we're being charged for them again. It would have behooved me. I would have made more money had I just waited a little bit more to recruit. But we're on a time limit here, damn it. Treasure Island. Yeah. That's what I consider a bunch of sprites to be treasure. Let's go. thought about uh, picking up that sprite, but I chose against it. Or a sprite. With uh, orcs, I shouldn't have any issue clearing this out. 
I'll have to do a little bit of waddling and walking around, but uh, the nice thing about ogres, or facing them, is that they also only have one movement. Wait. They do certainly have some hit points, though. Let's see how intelligently I can do this. If you have your doubts, don't worry. I too have my doubts. Ugh. Ah, they won't cut me off completely. We'll just move here. I also might be giving the AI too much credit in how it effectively it'll be able to move units to come block me. Wait. Wait. Run away! Wait. You were hoping for something more thrilling. You have come to the wrong place. <laughs> I have to keep running the orcs away. So that my archers keep having room to run. Tell you what, I'll consider standing my ground here. And just taking some losses. Damn archers. This damn army I need to reorder. That's the gnomes taken care of. Wait. That's the final shot of the orcs. Now they are reduced to, well, just being able to fight in melee. They don't do too bad at that if memory serves. I would still rather that not be the case for them, though. We're obviously going to be having the militia take the brunt of everything again. As is their birthright. Poor peasants with swords. The struggle they go through. Hopefully you can see why I ran away from the ogres earlier, though. We still haven't killed one. There we go. I didn't bother waiting for that the militia to trigger the retaliation. That was a mistake. Thankfully the ogres are just going to be locked on shooting or attacking the militia. Let's not make that mistake again. Nice reward there, from beating up the two ogres. We'll go ahead and proceed into the area where the ogres used to be. And get absolutely nothing. Many sprites, a few orcs, a few skeletons. Let's do it. Leave my militia there so the sprites should, uh, target them. Yes. Alright, we'll wait with the archers. Pikemen will head on out over this way. Orcs are going to step back and... See if I can clean this up a bit. Ah. 
didn't quite work out the way I wanted. See what those skeletons do. Because they might go after the pikemen since they can only reach the pikemen. They will not. As I said, it has been some time since I played this game. I do forget things like how focused the AI will be on ranged. Move over here. Step this way. There we go. Plus one max spell capacity. Okay. Doesn't help me right now, but it's something that can be useful for us in the future. What we have up here. <laughs> sure, sure, we'll show these off. I'm, uh, I'm strong enough to withstand this. Ghosts! There's only two there. Good. So, ghosts! Any of your stank they kill? Becomes ghosts. Like, a stack of ghosts under your control can quickly get out of control. And every time the week of the peasant rolls around, uh, ghosts turn into peasants. No, I don't know why. Probably to prevent you from running roughshod over everything with ghosts. Shoot the orcs. And I don't move the militia up there. Now that's gonna have to be something that the, uh, the pikemen deal with. That's what they're here for. Alright, good. Don't think that one orc will be able to really harm Christmas. We'll do this. Thankfully, the pike men fairly beefy. Four more leadership for me. What do we have here? Alright, yeah, we can deal with that fine, just fine. Shoot the orcs. Move up. Shoot those orcs. Take this approach. Probably swing the militia down south. Although they won't be able to uh, touch the orcs on this turn. A pity. Just resolve those skeletons. Unless I'm willing to get them neighboring the peasants, then nah. No need for that. They would be needless losses. Being of needless. Peasants like, I'm gonna get you. I'm like, you're not gonna get me. Come on, peasants. Put your pitchforks out. Ah, <laughs> probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> but we got this little section mapped out now. It's a pity that the king couldn't spare some fucking maps for me. Uh, I can't even go to the any of the other continents until I find a map on this continent that takes me to the next continent. And then I have to go to that one and then find the map to go to the next one. You'd figure what with the kingdom... The four continents being in such a perilous situation that he could spare some fucking resources here. Instead of infinitely recruitable troops. What the hell do I know, right? What I do know is that I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed, or if you didn't, well, at least you learned about what King's Bounty represents. Yay.